Um, so yeah, if you guys want to get started um, on your mats, go ahead and start on your backs. Um, again, if you have a block or some blocks, if you want to grab those, um, or if you have a pillow nearby, go ahead and grab the pillow. Um, I like to just start my off with a simple heart opening stretch, lying on your back. I'll go ahead and demonstrate it over here. So the block is going to be um, skinny side up and we're just gonna lay it right in the middle of the mat. Also, if you guys can't hear me at any point today, please um, just write in the comments or speak out at any point and I'll speak louder, okay? All right, so starting with the block in the middle of the mat, skinny side up, we're just gonna go ahead and just lay gently on top of the block so that it's right in between the shoulder blades. So this is kind of the position we wanna be in. Legs can be extended. I let the head hang heavy. So just demonstrating that for you guys really quickly. Again, if you don't have blocks, um, handy, just go ahead and grab a pillow and just place it right underneath the shoulder blades, just allowing that heart space to open up a little bit. And again, the goal here is to kind of just find a comfortable position where you can let yourself just be heavy and begin to release all of the tension worries, thoughts in your mind. Letting gravity do all the work here. one hand on the belly. Closing the eyes, let's take a nice big inhale all together. Feeling the belly, feeling the lungs. Nice big exhale through the mouth. Releasing your jaw. Releasing the tongue from the roof of your mouth. And just beginning to become present in this space and in your body. Notice the ground in your mat beneath you. Notice any sounds that surround you. Continuing to take nice deep breaths. And just slowly start to become aware of your heartbeat. Just that natural ebb and flow of the breath. Starting to clear your mind here. Again, just releasing any thoughts, worries, responsibilities of your day with each exhale. Let them, let them all melt away. Just a couple more breaths here as we're in that heart, heart opening stretch. I'm gonna do this exercise with you, this little meditation. I want you guys to imagine yourself inhaling love, gratitude, kindness. Inhale all that good stuff, hold it at the top. And then as we exhale, would you guys to imagine exhaling fear, hate, anger, frustration, whatever emotions we might be holding on to that's not serving us well. I'm just continuing that cycle Inhaling love, kindness, gratitude. Exhaling anger, frustration, hate. Just continuing this meditation. Going at your own pace here with your own inhales, with your own exhales. Maybe try making the inhales a little bit longer, a little bit deeper. The exhales a little bit longer, a little bit slower. more breaths just like that and 
Inhaling all of that positive energy. Exhaling out any negative energy you may be holding on to. And then maybe on your last breath here, just focus on one word you wanna inhale and then hold on to. So like I said, love, if you need a little bit more love in your heart today and in your life, some more gratitude, some more kindness, whatever it is today, just kind of latching onto that word, imagining it in your head, taking a nice big inhale, filling yourself up for energy, holding it, and then exhaling, releasing any tension you're holding on to. When you're ready, slowly begin to open up the eyes. Inhaling, arms above head. And then exhaling, arms out to the sides. And then rolling over to either side, kind of making your way into a fetal position. You can remove the block or the pillow off to the side for now. Just rolling over onto your side, one arm underneath the ear. Kind of like a pillow. Just Take a, a couple more moments here to just really become present in the space and on your mat. And when you're ready, slowly using your arms to make your up to seated position. We'll be in a comfortable seated position. If you're on your mat, legs crossed. You can still have that pillow. Feel free to just place it underneath the hips. This is a little bit intense. That feels good. Two, or if you want to grab the block, you can sit the hips here. Placing palms on the knees, facing downward if you need to feel a little more grounded today, facing upward if you need a little bit more energy, and just begin to roll the shoulders up and back. Eyes can stay open, eyes can be closed here, yogi's choice. And begin to roll the shoulders forward. Really just imagining yourself lengthening here, finding stillness. I want you guys to imagine yourself rooted into the mat with the floor. And then rebounding upwards to the spine and to the crown of the head, finding length here, engaging your core. Try a nice deep breath into the nose, out through the nose. And then when you're ready, inhaling arms above head. Exhaling right hand down to the mat. Finding a nice deep stretch on the left side of your body. Maybe gaze falls up towards the sky. Feeling. Inhaling back center. Exhaling opposite side, left hand comes down. Finding length in the right side. Inhaling arms come back up. One more time on both sides. Right hand comes down. Reach, reach, reach up and over with that left hand. Really feeling yourself rooted in those hips in your six bones. Inhaling up center. And again, opposite side, left arm comes down. Root yourself in the hips and in the sit bones and then reach up and over with that right arm. Feeling a nice stretch in the right side body. Nice job, guys. Inhaling one more time. Up center, find length in that spine. And then exhale, bring hands behind you, fingers pointing towards your hips. If you have a, blo a blocker, Go ahead and remove it. And then squeeze shoulder blades together. Open up that heart. Looking up towards the ceiling, the sky, wherever you're at. Thighs, triple heart opening here. And then inhaling. Arms up, up towards the ceiling. Exhaling, slowly walking hands forward. Releasing head between shoulders. When you're ready, walking hands back up, leaning back in a seated position, placing hands on the knees. We're just gonna work through the spinal twist, warming up the spine a little bit. Nice and gentle today. So on your inhale, I want you to reach your chest towards your right knee, inhaling, and then rolling on over to the left knee. And then as you exhale, I want you guys to focus on rounding out the shoulder blades, engaging the core, kind of looking down towards your feet making your way into this kind of cat position with the spine and then inhaling as you reach chest forward right knee left knee rolling all the way back exhaling as you make your way into this cat position kind of using this traction with hands on the knees to kind of pull the shoulders nice good stretch there inhaling squeezing shoulder blades together if you can here and then exhaling rounding the shoulder blades 
We're gonna do two more. Kind of at your own pace with your own breath here. Loosening up that spine here nice and easy. You're finished with that second one. Go ahead and start going the other direction. Inhaling towards the left knee and then right knee. Exhaling, rounding out those shoulder blades, stretching them out. Nice job, guys. Try closing the eyes here to kind of feel your body move. One more. Good job, guys. When you're ready, we're going to be back in that neutral seated position here. And then when you're ready, we're going to roll onto our hands, making our way into a tabletop position. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, feet are about to come apart here. I want you guys to do that same position, cat and cow. Just a few with your own breath. Inhaling, shoulder blades come together looking up towards the ceiling, and then exhaling to cat, rounding out those shoulder blades, pressing the mat away from you, engaging the core, looking down towards the knees, inhaling back to cow, and then exhaling to cat, option to kind of move hips side to side here, opening those up a little bit, option to roll out the neck. Finding those really fluid movements with your body. Just gently loosening it up here. When you're ready, finding that neutral tabletop position, we're gonna find a nice balance here. Option one, we're going to lift right leg up and back. So we're creating a straight line from the crown of the head all the way to the heel, engaging the core, being mindful of that low back. Option to stay right here, this is perfectly fine. If you wanna take it up a notch, we can begin to bring left arm up towards left ear. Just finding this balance here, reaching forward with the fingertips backwards with the heel, but stay flexed here to keep those hips in line with each other. Again, engaging the core here, looking down towards the mat as you try to find your balance. Nice job, guys. When you're ready, we're gonna bring it back center. You can begin to float hand down towards the mat. And then from here, I want you guys to just gently bring the toes towards the back of the mat and gently press the heel towards the back wall. Just finding a gentle calf stretch here. I know running makes my calves super, super tight because I have pretty flat feet. So getting a nice stretch in those calves right here. And then when you're ready, slowly bring the knee back to center. Resetting here, if you need to roll out the wrist a little bit, feel free. And then when you're ready, inhaling, left leg comes up and back. Again, finding that nice straight line from the crown of the head to the heel, foot is flexed, abs are engaged, and then when you're ready, you don't have to, you can stay here, but if you <laughs> want to move with me to that balance, you can bring our right arm up to right ear. And again, finding this balance here, reaching forward with the fingertips, backwards to the heel, finding the length of the spine, finding your balance, finding your breath. Nice job, guys. And you're ready, slowly floating that left hand back down to the mat, gently bringing left toes to the back of the mat, and then pressing the heel towards the back wall. Nice, gentle calf stretch here. Okay, when you're ready, gently bringing the left knee back into center. Kind of resetting here, rolling up the wrists again if you need to. Bringing hips side to side, a few cat and cows, whatever your body needs. And then when you're ready, we're going to go ahead and make our way into a down dog. So from tabletop position, tucking the toes under, we're slowly going to just lift the knees up off the mat just for a second here, hovering them just two inches from the mat. Engaging the core here, looking down towards your mat, kind of in the middle of the hands, warming up the body here. And then when you're ready, pressing the hips up towards the ceiling and then back towards the heels, making your way into down dog. Feet are about hip width apart here. I'm gonna come out of that because it's kind of hard to talk with that. <laughs> so from here, I want you guys to focus on spreading out the fingertips nice and wide, gripping the mat with them. Maybe try focusing on shifting the weight to the index finger and the thumb to kind of release some of the pressure on the wrists. And maybe just walking those heels out one by one, pressing 
feet to the mat. Nice job, guys. A couple deep breaths here. Being gentle with your hamstrings, being gentle with your calves. This is your first down dog. Maybe nodding the head, yeah. Shaking the head, no, here. Releasing that neck, releasing the shoulders, a little tension. Pressing the chest towards the thighs, opening up that chest from here. We're gonna take a nice big inhale. Bending the knees, looking towards the hands. And then as you exhale, slowly walking the feet up to meet the hands and doing a forward fold bend. Feeding here in forward fold bend. Nice generous bend in the knees here, releasing belly over thighs. And just release the arms, release the head. Again, letting gravity do all the work here. Maybe nodding the head, yes. Shaking the head no here as well. Ready, slowly rolling vertebrae by vertebrae, nice and easy, all the way up to standing. A few shoulder rolls when you get there, bringing hands to heart center. Nice job, guys. From here, we're gonna work through some flows. So, sun salutation A to start with, warming up the body a little bit. We're gonna inhale, arms above head. Nice lengthen that spine and then exhale, hinging at the hips, leading with the chest, making your way to forward fold bend. Inhaling up halfway, option to place the hands on the shins, the thighs, or the hips. Releasing the shoulder blades together, opening up the chest. Exhaling forward fold. Inhaling, plant the hands, so the feet back, making your way into a high plank. Engaging the core here, you have the option to bring it down to the knees, as always, if you need to. Um, so from here, working through our chaturanga flow, nice and easy, like a slow motion push-up. Squeezing the elbows in closer to the sides, leading with the chest, leading with the chin. Making your way all the way down to your bellies with this first chaturanga. And then inhaling to baby cobra here, squeezing the shoulder blades together, hands on the mat. Option to lift the hands off the mat because you want to get a little more engagement here. Then exhale, release all the way down. And then on your inhale, would you guys to press back into down dog, you can go straight there. Or you can work your way on your knees and then press your way up to down dog. Nice big inhale for the nose. Exhale for the mouth. Inhale, look, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop your feet up to meet your hands, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your rise, arms above head. Exhale, hands to heart center. Nice job, guys. We're gonna do a couple more just like that, just to get the juices flowing, to get the body nice and warm. Inhaling, arms above head. Find that length of the spine. Exhaling, forward fold. Hinging at the hips, leading with the chest. Inhaling, half lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, hands to mat, feet to plank. Nice big inhale here, and then as you exhale, work that chaturanga flow, nice and slow. Option one, again, baby cobra. Option two, you can extend the arms. And option three, you can extend the arms, thighs left off the mat, and upward dog. Those are all three options. Wherever we're at, we're gonna press the shoulders away from the ears, squeezing the shoulder blades together, opening up the chest. Nice big inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale to the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach to rise, arms above head. Exhale, hands to heart center. Tadasana, mountain pose here. Let's work through that one more time. I am going to just flow with you guys. I want you guys to kind of work through that um, on your own this time. Maybe try closing the eyes and really just moving with your body and really getting in tune to what this flow is feeling like for you. So I challenge you guys to just kind of go with the flow, make this practice your own. Working through Sun Salutation A, we'll be back into Dawson Mountain Pose, okay? Starting from here, I'll start you guys off. Inhaling on the head.
from Tadasa Mountain Pose, inhaling arms above head. Exhaling forward fold. Inhaling half lift. Exhale forward fold. Inhaling, we're just gonna make our way into down dog here. Keeping that turn around up for now. And then from here, we're just gonna kind of roll onto our toes. Roll through the abs, through the shoulders, and making our way into a high plank. Nice job, guys. We're gonna go through that just a couple more times. So down dog. Up on our toes, engage in the core, roll into the core, roll into the shoulders, high plank. And then engage in the core again, bringing the left back to down dog. Up to the toes, rolling forward, high plank. Engage in the core, lifting up the hips, down dog. Right. Toes, core, high plank. Engage in that core, lifting the hips, down dog. One more, just like that, rolling onto the toes, to the hips, to the shoulders, high plank. Engage in the core, lifting the hips, down dog. Nice job, guys. So from here, we're gonna roll one more time, making our way into a high plank. If this is a little bit much for you today, feel free to bring it down to the knees. But we're on high plank here, so from here, we're gonna inhale, exhale, right knee comes in towards the chest. Inhale, we're gonna lift up that right leg, heel towards the sky. Exhale, knee towards chest. Inhale, lifting up that back heel, and moving the back leg. Exhale, knee comes in. Inhale, lifting up that leg. Let's jump two more just like that. Exhale, knee towards chest. Inhale, extending that right leg up and back, engage the glutes. One more. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, engage in the glutes, lifting up that right leg, bring it back down, making your way into a child's pose. That was tough. So just kind of reconnecting with your breath here before I move into the opposite side. That's a really hard exercise. You can't quite get the full range of motion with that. Don't worry at all. Just do what you can. And again, you can work through that on your knees as well. You just kind of want to warm up the core here and just warm up the glutes. So that's kind of the goal of that exercise. A couple more deep breaths here, kind of reconnect with that breath. Maybe rolling up the wrist if you need to. If this is a little bit hard on your wrist as well, feel free to just roll up the mat a couple of times. Just to add an extra padding here. Or you can grab a pillow and place it underneath your hands too. <laughs> so when you're ready, we're gonna make our way back into a neutral tabletop position. Nice and easy here, making our way back to down dog. And then when you're ready, rolling onto the toes, roll into the hips, roll into the shoulders, high plank. We're just gonna get right into it. So nice big inhale. Exhale, left knee comes in towards chest. Inhale, bring that left leg up and back, and get into the glute. Inhale, knee comes in. Inhale, right leg comes up and out. Nice job, guys. Exhale, knee in. Inhale, extend that leg up the back. Exhale, knee comes in. Exhale, bring it back. Two more. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend that left leg. One more, guys, making your best. Exhale, knee comes in, engage in the core, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Inhale, right leg, or left leg comes up the back, engage that core. Nice job. Really lowering that left leg down. You can bring knees to the mat, finding that child's pose again. Reconnecting with that breath. <laughs> a nice big heat release of breath in the nose, out the mouth. Position. Inhale, right leg up and back. And then exhale, kind of sit in similar position, mounting on the shoulder blades, engaging the core, knee comes towards chest. 
And then from here, we're just gonna gently place that right foot in the middle of the hands if you need to use your hands to kind of assist that leg up there. Feel free to do that. But we're sneaking our way into this low lunge here, being mindful of that front leg, making sure that front knee is not going over those toes. It should be just above the ankle here. Back toes are under. Nice job. We're just gonna focus on bringing that left hip towards that wall or wherever you're facing. A little bit of kind of being forward. Pressing hips forward as you inhale. And then exhaling, we're gonna bring the hips back, making our way into a half split here, getting that right leg. Those toes can become flexed, facing up towards the ceiling, and kind of bringing chest towards the knee. It's a really nice stretch towards the hamstrings here. On your next inhale, make your way into that low lunge once again. You have blocks available, or maybe some gloves. It's a great place to use them. Just bring up towards the sides of that foot here. So inhaling hips forward, exhaling hips in back. Take a slight bend in that front knee if you need to. Inhaling forward. And exhaling back, kind of moving with your own breath here, working through this kind of mini flow, opening up the hip flexor on the left side here, and opening up those hamstrings on the right side. guys working nice and easy here we're gonna meet back in that low lunge when you're ready back in that low lunge we're gonna plant that left hand to the inside of that right foot inhaling right arm up and over gentle spinal twist here slowly melting that right hand back to the mat here we're going to put the back toes under, lifting up the back knee, making your way into runner's lunge on the right side. And then from here, we're going to inhale, we're going to wind, I don't know how to say it, windmill, those arms, <laughs> up and over, so we're making our way into a warrior two. So positioning here, front leg is at a 90 degree angle, back leg is nice and straight, front toes are facing forward, and back toes are facing perpendicular to that front foot. So the heel of the front foot should be in line with the arch of your back foot. Shoulders just above the hips, engaging the core. Arms come out to the sides, gaze is above the right fingertips. Nice strong warrior two pose here. Feeling yourself grounded, feeling yourself strong. On your next inhale, we're gonna reach forward. And then as you exhale, we're gonna reach up and over with that right arm, making our way into a reverse warrior. Back hand can be on your thigh your calf, wrapped around the low back. A few options here. We want to feel a nice stretch on that right side body, wherever we're at. Nice big inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly making your way back into that warrior two position. And then from here, we're just going to angle the toes so they're both facing the same way. So we're going to make our way into a wide-legged forward fold bend here. Arms come out to the side, slowly hinging at the hips, leaning with the chest. Again, letting gravity do all the work here, nodding the head yes, yeah, shaking the head no, releasing the shoulders, releasing the head, releasing the arms. Maybe bending one knee, bending the other, moving side to side. release. And from here we're just going to angle the toes to face forward towards the front of your mat. Right leg is in front. Gentle hamstring stretch here as well. Bringing nose towards right knee. And then when you're ready we're going to plant the hands. You can bend that right knee if you need to. And we're going to step that right foot back to the left down dog. Up, guys. From here, we're going to work through a chatter on the flow. So, you guys have to practice that rolling motion that you're doing. So, rolling on top of the toes, through the hips, and then do 
the shoulders, taking away to high plank. And then working that chaturanga flow, leading it down dog. Nice job. And from here, we're gently bringing those knees to the mat. And again, inhaling left leg, and over. And then exhaling, rounding up the shoulder blades, engaging the core, knee comes towards the chest. Placing that left foot in between the hands again, using the arms to kind of assist that foot if you need to. The foot comes right in between the hands, making our way into that low lunge on the left side. From here, inhaling, bringing the hips forward. And exhaling, hips come back, have splits. Again, finding this nice mini flow, moving with your own breath here. Connecting your movements with an inhale and an exhale. Again, option to grab blocks or pillows here. Working your way through this. Opening up the hip flexor on the right side this time, hamstrings on the left. Back at that low lunge. Okay, right hand this time on the inside of that left foot. Ready, inhaling that left arm up and over. Fiddle spine and twist. Guys, don't be bringing your left hand back down the mat. Putting back toes under, lifting back knee up. Front of lunge, left side. Finding your balance here, and then when you're ready, when, <laughs> I don't know how to say this, when kneeling, those arms open, or your Again, nice deep bend in the front leg. Front heel is along with the back arch of those feet. Is about the left fingertips here. Focus about the hips. Nice job, guys. Feeling nice and strong here. Feeling stable. Feeling powerful. On your next inhale, reach your forward with those left fingertips. Up and over with that left hand. Nice side body stretch on the left side. And make our way into the reverse warrior. Bringing it back to warrior two. Stop when you're ready. Angling those feet again, be parallel. Arms out to the sides, hinging at the hips, leaning with the chest. Wide legged forward fold. Planting the hands, lifting the chest up, inhaling half lift. And then exhaling forward fold. From here, you're pulling those feet in a little bit closer together. Those are facing towards the corners of your mat. We're just going to drop those hips down towards the heels as we find our way into a yogi squat. So hands come to heart center. We're going to use those elbows to press the knees out. Opening up that chest here, really squeeze the shoulder blades together. Ultimate roll this pose to bring the needles towards the neck. Can't quite get there, no worries. It's kind of a hard position. Grab a block, grab a flow. Just enter with the hips. It's a little bit much. Exhaling, forward fold. And for 
depending on what you want to get out of this class. So option one, sits bones to the mat, feel nice and grounded. Chest back a little bit, you can keep the heels on the floor, bringing arms out in front of you. This is option one, this is gonna engage the core nicely, so don't feel obligated to do anything more than this if you don't want to today. Option two, lifting up the heels to the mat, bringing knees at a 90 degree angle. Or option three, you can extend the legs, creating like a V shape of the body. So any one of these options is going to engage the core. Wherever we're feeling today, that's okay. Your body, this is your practice. You want to engage the core a little bit. You can protect that low back if we're doing a lot of sitting, like I am. <laughs> I'm still studying, so the core is a really way to get the right way to get rid of that low back pain. I'm gonna hold this for a few more seconds, guys. You're doing great. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Oh, nice job, guys. Do a few spinal rolls here so you can bring knees into the chest, and let's just roll back and forth on the spine here. Good guys. You ready? We're gonna do that one more time. We're not gonna hold it as long, but we're gonna bring a little bit of movement into the pose. So kind of pound yourself here by rocking forward and back. And you can try stopping yourself in the boat pose. So stopping here. Control. Making your way into a boat pose. Again, you can skip here. Fine. We're just gonna bring a little bit of movement here. So we're gonna go our boats. Or the left side, the right side, and even the oblique abs here. Inhaling for the one side, exhaling for the other. Throwing our boat here for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Grab the knees, rock and roll. Massaging that spine on your mat. And then when you're ready, we're gonna rock all the way forward onto our knees, making your way into a tabletop. Being in tabletop position here. We're slowly gonna meet with the chest here, engaging those triceps, engaging those arms, kind of shifting your weight forward so your shoulders are over the hands. Taking your weight all the way down to your belly. I hope you guys can hear me. If you can't, just let me know. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of um, yell kind of. So, while we're on our bellies here, I want you to place one cheek onto the mat. It could be your left cheek or your right cheek, it doesn't matter. And then from here, we're gonna bend the knees. And then just slowly windshield wiping them side to side. Your arms can be by your sides. Now guys, when you're ready, we're going to find stillness. You can bring those toes back to the mat. Bringing the forehead to the mat. And then bring the arms down towards your thighs or your hips. From here, we're going to do a little heart opening stretch. So when you're ready, we're going to inhale the chest up on the mat, reaching fingertips towards the back of the mat for your heels. Pressing the torso of your feet into the mat, engaging your glutes here, squeezing the legs together, opening up that chest. Yeah, nice big inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly rolling back down to the mat, bringing the opposite cheek towards the back. Both of these here, option two, again bend the knees here, show up in the knees side to side, or the feet side to side. Nice big release. We're gonna do that same thing, but we're gonna lift up the legs this time. So when you're ready, bring your forehead to the mat. 
tops of the feet towards the mat, hands towards your hips or your thighs. And then on your next inhale, when you're ready, we're gonna inhale, lifting up the arms, the chest, and the feet up off your mat, engaging the glutes, squeezing those shoulder blades, opening up that chest, knees is directly in front of you. Finding your breath here, holding up for five, four, three, two, one, release it all the way back and onto the mat. Nice job, guys. Again, then off to the bend of the knees. No speed side to side. And then when you're ready, you can bring hands underneath the shoulders. Slowly press yourself up. We're gonna make our way to the child's pose. You can take those to touch knees nice and wide. rest here again if you need to. If you're ready to move on, you can slowly walk the hands up. Making our way into a seated position here. We're kind of sitting on top of our heels. This is a little bit much again. Always have the option to grab a block and just place it in between your legs here. You can sit on the block at the pillow. We're just gonna make our way into a rabbit pose. Um, just to kind of offset that um, intense how it pretty stuff we did. So from here, we are going to grab the heels and then slowly bringing forehead to the mat again. And then once we have forehead to the mat, you can tie grip on those heels. We're slowly gonna lift up the hips towards the ceiling. And through that motion, you're kind of going to roll up the top of your head, and that's just going to give you a nice stretch on the back of the neck. So being gentle here, if it's a little bit too much for you, you don't have to expose. But this is the full expression. You're ready to slowly roll back onto the heels. Out of it nice and easy, rolling the down the back. You can find that traction in your shoulders, grabbing the heels and then pulling it forward kind of with your neck. It's a really good stretch on the upper tops. So from here, we're going to remove that block if you're sitting on one. Make your way into tabletop position one last time, I promise. <laughs> and then from here, we're going to touch toes under, send hips up and back, down dog. From here, inhaling right leg up and back, making our way to a down dog split. And then inhaling knee in towards chest. And then kind of bringing that foot towards the left hand, the knee towards the right hand. We're gonna make our way into a half pigeon pose. So left leg is extended back. Right knee is towards the right hand. We're kind of just making sure the hips are in line with each other. We're not leaning over to one side like this or the other side. Again, option to bring a block underneath the hips or a pillow if you need to here. Nice big inhale. We're going to open up the chest, lifting up on the pads of our fingertips, looking up towards the ceiling. And then exhaling, slowly walking those hands out in front of you, releasing the chest, the knee, releasing the head and the shoulders. Here, come a lot of yourself to release deeper. 
to bring that back leg up and around. We're kind of just rolling onto your right side and then bringing the left leg forward. We're going to make our way into just kind of twist. I don't really know what this is called. <laughs> uh, I think it's called fire lap pose or something like that. Shins parallel with each other, one on top of the other, like so. Or you can have knees on top of each other, and all the points are the same. So, stretch the left side. Legs. And just finding a different position. Hands come out to the sides here, like slowly releasing chest, legs, just release the head. into a half pitch on the opposite side. So again, I'll just grab that block, the pillow, placing it underneath the hips. Taking a nice big inhale, lifting onto the pads of your fingertips, opening up that chest here, looking up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, slowly melting that chest forward over the left leg. And then releasing head between the shoulders if you can. And again, I just challenge you guys to really let yourself move deeper into this pose with each exhale, kind of relaxing a little bit more with each breath. toes as you possibly can. Nice big inhale here and then exhaling bringing knees in towards the chest giving them a tight squeeze rocking side to side. Keeping that right knee hugged into the chest letting that left leg fall to the mat. Using your biceps here to hug that right knee into the right shoulder. Maybe rolling up that right ankle a little bit.
And then making our way into a supine spinal twist, you can have that left hand guide that right knee over to the left side body. We're gonna press shoulder blades into the mat. As we move into the twist, maybe extending that right arm out, letting your gaze fall to the right. That right knee back and towards the chest. Giving it one more tight squeeze. And then switching it out, allowing that right leg to fall all the way down. And then bringing in that left knee in towards left shoulder. Maybe rolling out that left ankle. And from here, maybe allowing that right hand to guide that left knee over to the right side. Pressing the shoulder blades into the mat, sending up that left arm, allowing your gaze to go to the left. side to side. And then from here we're going to plant those feet towards the mat. Knees are facing up towards the ceiling. We're going to make our way into the bridge pose. So feet are about to the front here. Feet are planted into the mat. Maybe spring out those toes nice and wide, gripping the mat with them. And then beginning to press into the heels, lifting up the hips towards the ceiling, engaging the glutes. You guys can focus on keeping that chest nice and open here. Maybe try to squeeze the shoulders together underneath your back. And focusing on keeping a space in between the chin and the chest. Nice open space here for that throat. Nice deep breaths into the nose, out of the nose. Maybe play around with this pose for a little bit. Pretty. We're lifting up onto the toes, lifting up onto the heels. Finding playfulness here. Maybe when you're ready, vertebrae by vertebrae, we're gonna roll those hips back down to the mat. Putting the knees in towards the chest. Again, one more tight squeeze. And then making our way into half baby pose, reaching for the inner arms of the feet. Using your arms to press those thighs down to the floor, and then rocking side to side, option to extend one leg out. The other leg. When you're ready, extending those feet up towards the ceiling, extending the knees, and then slowly kind of engaging the low abs one last time here, pressing the low back into the mat, and then slowly lowering those feet all the way down. As slow as you possibly can with control. Nice job, guys. With your feet, find the mat. Go ahead and let them splay out to the sides. You can bring the arms out to the sides, tucking the shoulder blades into the mat. We're just gonna take a few seconds here to end your practice in a Shavasana, so close the eyes. Let's take a nice deep breath all together. Filling up the belly, filling up the chest, and then one loud open mouth exhale. Let it all go. Releasing the tongue, coming into the mouth. Releasing the area between the eyebrows. I want you guys to begin to tune into the body once again, noticing the heartbeat, noticing the natural ebb and flow of the breath. Each breath again, I want you guys to focus on that word you thought of at the beginning of class. Kindness, love, gratitude, whatever it was, focus on that word. 
on your inhales, I want you guys to focus on that word, that energy filling you up all the way from the toes, all the way to the front of your head. And then as you exhale again, letting go of any negative thoughts, worry, fear I have. Just letting it all go with the next note. overhead, full body stretch, knees and towards the chest, and then rolling over to either side again, making your way into that fetal position. Taking these last few moments for moments of gratitude, thanking yourself for making this time on your mat. Thank yourself for creating the space to practice in. Thanking your body for all the hard work it's just done. And then slowly when you're ready, using your arms to make your way back up to seated position. Placing the hands on top of the knees. We're gonna end with a few neck stretches. So rolling, do a full neck roll to the right. And the full neck roll to the left. for allowing me to guide you in your practice today. It was an honor. Um, I just encourage you guys to find time to take care of yourselves this week. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, do a little self-care, uh, whatever that looks like to you. I got a pedicure today and it was like life-changing. So whatever that looks like to you, bake some banana bread, go get a pedicure. You can keep a couple of deep breaths to yourself. A bit of silence, whatever that looks like to you. I just really encourage you guys to take care of yourselves this week. Um, it could be yoga, it could be my class, that counts as self care. <laughs> so, whatever that looks like, I just want you guys to, yeah, take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves, love yourselves. You guys deserve it. So, again, thank you guys for having me today. Divided me honors, or the divided me honors, divided you. Namaste.